ただいまはいおかえりはいみんなお父さんいただきますいただきますThose were some of the many thousands of memories that were captured by myself and the people that I met and had become a part of my life. Each one of these stills was an instance of some time ago, a fossilized record of light to remind us of our personal development, the characters we've intermingled into the fabric of our lives, and our journey into somewhere vastly new or perhaps a little familiar. What do you think studying abroad has done for you? It gave me the idea of diversity. Studying abroad definitely does make you grow as an individual. And that I've managed to meet quite a few new Japanese friends and it's also helped me to improve myself further. I and think that first of all it's opened my eyes about the new culture that before to come I don't know nothing about. What felt like a dream was actually our reality for six months and more. The stories we read became experiences that helped mold us, much like the help of a teacher's hand molding clay for the final design. Through the different people we met and the inspiring conversations we shared, indescribable but definitely breathtaking moments were created. I studied at USF, the University of South Florida, and there were so many kinds of people coming from all over the world. I acquired, you know, acceptance for diversity. That experience gave me a lot of friends. I still keep in touch with those friends on Facebook. And I think that relationship will continue for a long time. Being away really makes you appreciate where you come from. It's a huge culture difference, but it's also a growing experience. When I go back to my country, I have like some knowledge of Japan. I don't have to just like wonder about what Japan is like, like I've seen it for myself. Even though I didn't get to meet as many Japanese people as I would like, I managed to gain an insight into the other cultures, especially from France. Japan has influenced me in two major ways. The first one is uh, learning about Japan itself and learning about the culture, because it has been a dream of mine to actually come to Japan and uh, study Japanese and actually live in Japan with the host family and be exposed to the culture in here. And then the second one was, um, I got a little bit tired of education back at home because we study communication and I feel like it's not practical to what I do. So when I came here and I went to communication classes, it was basically like an eye-opener for me because they make everything practical, they connect everything to the daily life and I feel like that will help me further on in my career path because I know what it is that I want to do after going to the courses in here, if that makes sense. You learn a lot about your own culture because a lot of people they think about how we behave and you realize that people are behaving in a different manner and there's like things acceptable or not acceptable so it, it makes you think about your own culture. It gives you perspective. Yeah. Okay, when I study the abroad I wanna improve my English. I wanna experience real life, real Australian life. So I wanna do home stay if possible for me. I'm searching now, but yeah, I don't know, cause the internet information is, yeah, a little bit weird. I want to get a lot of experience, and then, yeah. 
yeah, I broke by myself. If only there was an extend option for memories. Because pausing would never satisfy the yearning to return and press play again. Studying abroad was an otherworldly experience for reasons that go beyond that of the simple tourist or even native dweller. As a student and a filmmaker, I ventured out to learn and capture something of etic and emic proportions. We go forth into the new world and inward on thyselves, learning more than what a library can provide and asking ourselves such basic questions like, why do people do the things the way they do? You eventually ask yourself that same question. It becomes the quintessential paradox of temporary yet everlasting relationships with people, <laughs> animals, nature, and even machines. <laughs> it's a more honest and pure way of exploring than say like reading about it or surfing the internet, watching the media something that could easily be filtered and cropped. But then again, so are our views. Though this experience of studying abroad has an unraveling force that pulls back that frame from the picture and expanding the picture, not necessarily the frame. Because wherever you talked, wherever you walked, the conversations you had here and there and the sights you saw, you were there. You saw them, they saw you, they spoke, you listened, vice versa. And that small bit of chemistry, it was more than just learning. It was making new friends. It's mapping the world, removing that blanket of uncertainty, and suddenly, you're just not afraid of the dark.
line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. The period before my time and those who have studied with me had worldviews vastly different from ours today. The world will never remain the same and will always evolve for the better or the worst. But this experience has opened a window where I could see of a brighter future. A time when people are more culturally attuned, tolerant and accepting of one another. With this opportunity, I can only encourage those to take on this endeavor for not only their careers, studies, or a personal desire, but for the culmination of understanding between all peoples of the Earth. of Japan and those from all corners of the earth have added a whole new meaning to the world for me, like a new spectrum of light that is now visible to my eyes. There's more to Australia, France, Canada, Singapore, Brazil, and more, and even my home, the United States. Japan was a place of immense hospitality and warmth and has always been in my heart since a child. 
But now there's another place in my heart for the rest of the globe, for more than just touristy visits. I hope we all continue to stay in touch through the conveniences of our time. But even that is not enough to connect the dots. There is something magical about meeting at a once familiar place. What do you think studying abroad has done for you? Do you want to go first? Yeah. <laughs> I take a lot more risks here. I'm a lot less scared too. Like I'm very comfortable walking up to a Japanese person and talking to them even if I, my grasp on Japanese is kind of loose at that moment. But I'm not afraid to go to different places where in the States I was definitely more worried about getting lost. Which is kind of weird. Right? Uh, yeah, I feel the exact same way here. I'm like, well, yeah, I'll just get on this train if it's the wrong train, whatever, you know, I'll figure it out. In the States, I was kind of like, oh god, but if I get on the wrong train, what will I do? How will I ask for directions? I don't know, I speak English. <laughs> well, my Japanese has improved. Yeah, definitely. Japanese because both of us are in a host family, and so we get to talk every day with our Japanese family. So. And we also get to try lots of different types of Japanese food here, which has increased my palate. Now I can take eating raw eggs, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Natto, no. Not natto. Still no. Not quite. Not quite. That's a longer acquired taste than just being in Japan for a couple of months. That's like, I was born in Japan and grew up in Japan and I'm now like 50 kind of acquired taste. Uh, when I was a high school student, I went to America for three weeks. Had influenced my life mainly in two ways. Uh, first, my English ability improved dramatically. Uh, not until did I go to America, I could not speak English as fluently as I can now. And staying there and living with American people made me realize that my English ability was not enough to achieve what I wanted to do, uh, which motivated me to study English harder and harder. Uh, I've become more independent. Mm, like when I, when I was back in Australia, like I didn't really know how to ride the trains because we always drove everywhere. So now I can take the train, <laughs> and I can do it by myself, I don't have to take someone with me. My host family are all older, so they kind of just leave me alone. So I mostly just talk with them during dinner and, and during breakfast time. So I don't really spend a lot of time with them, but the times that I do, it's pretty fun, like watching baseball games or boxing matches together, or Korean dramas. In, with Japanese subtitles. My host family, um, I mostly just talk to my host dad and he's been studying abroad to New York before and so he likes to talk about New York and how it used to be. So kind of like a grandpa who was living in New York. But it's, he doesn't actually live in New York now. I also appreciate the toilets in Japan because it has all those buttons. And like, so I didn't realize, you know, the, the water thingy? <laughs> yeah, so back in, like, in Australia, we didn't have that. And so then, when I came here, like, I realized now that I really like that water thing. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess before I came to Japan, I had this idea that I was, like, you know, super, like, independent and, like, could do anything. And when I came to Japan, I realized that I kind of couldn't. Like, there were a lot of things that I can't handle. But I feel like now, actually, I have a good grip of myself when I'm put in an unexpected situation. When something goes wrong, like I miss my flight, or I get on the wrong train, or just I'm placed in a situation that normally I would have panicked in if I were back home. I can, like, tough it up, you know, and deal with it. Even if I am in a country where I don't speak the language very well at all. Yeah. I think it's also, like just more opportunity than if you were just like traveling because since we're here for so long exactly that we're kind of more comfortable like 
this shop looks kind of sketchy, but maybe I'll give it a try. And like just going and be like, nope, that is not an anime shop. That's a sex shop. That's awkward. <laughs> you know, if I was a tourist, I probably would be like, well, no, I have no idea what's in that shop. I have four days left here. Like, I don't have time to screw around. I need to just go somewhere. I don't speak the language. I don't, you know, necessarily know what the cultural interactions, what's, what's acceptable and everything. So I feel like study abroad gives you a little bit more time to like adjust to the culture and really... Mm-hmm live here as opposed to travel here. Yeah. Uh, through communicating with a lot of people from uh, many countries, I learned to think from various perspectives. Uh, it enabled me to be more creative and more, be more generous. Thank you. <laughs>